You and uh, Stu were riffing on the transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Go I'm ahead. Coming at, I'm coming at this in a totally different way. Okay. Okay? All right. But I think your audience is going to either uh, appreciate or be outraged by. Okay. They'll either, they'll either right, love it or stone you to death. Point I'm number one. Collecting rocks. Point number one. In my opinion, Joe Biden and all his acolytes could not care less about trans people. Yes. I don't think the Disney executives care about them. Yep. I don't think that anybody that are taking these people, these Americans who have a right to pursue happiness, no matter how they want to pursue it, Agreed. that is their right. They're using them yes. to try to put themselves in a virtuous position. Ah, Bill, that's, that's outrageous. That's is. outrageous. They've never done that with blacks or Hispanics right. or anybody they use else. These people, all right? But the unintended consequences of their using trans people and, as you said, other Americans for their own selfish self aggrandizement. Oh, I mean, I'm Will Smith in here. I am Will Smithing here. If they were up on stage, I'd go up and slap them. Okay. Now, are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you. So the unintended consequences are that they want to present this kind of material to five-year-olds. What does that do? It confuses the urchins. All right? It makes them insecure because if a child doesn't understand the lesson, no matter what the lesson is, the child is then stressed. I'm a teacher. I taught. I know. Oh, man, those kids are in therapy. That, that Many of them are can. in homes, state homes, state homes. They've had so much... They remember all calling late. Rock, rocking people. back and forth. Bill O'Reilly was my teacher. Bill O'Reilly was my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were the luckiest urchins on earth. I bet they were, actually. So these people, including the president, are actually hurting children. Not only are they demeaning parental authority, which is just outrageous off the chart, but they're hurting these kids because they can't process it. My good line is five to eight-year-olds cannot even process spaghetti. All right? <laughs> Have you ever eaten with one? <laughs> so, I am angry about this. I don't blame trans people or the alphabet people, LBG, what I they have a right to pursue happiness without being bullied or being demeaned or any of that. And anyone who does it is wrong. So okay. it, I, I was talking them I, be. I was talking to Peter Bogosian yesterday. Um, I did a podcast with him. He's a brilliant, brilliant philosopher, and we were talking about that. That he he asked me. He said, "Why is it that it seems like the people who are are the most vocal against all of this stuff are the gay is the gay community?" And he said, you know, they don't want the T in there. And I said, I don't know about that, but it would make sense to me that you can see the the pushback on this. The the government and these people that, n not again, like you said, not the average LBGTQ 2 plus, well, the 2 plus people, I think, um, that are, they, they just want to live their life. They're not talking about politics. They are being pushed into everyone's face by the political class. And there is going to come, pendulum always swings both ways until somebody grabs it. If this pendulum swings, I'm afraid of the swing. And I think people know this who are being used. They know this. You are causing so many problems and so much angst and so much resentment for what's being, what's being done. Yeah, the in their name. consequences of this Horrible. are staggering. Staggering. All right? But you have to understand the mentality of a Joe Biden, who is the worst president in his first year. He's worse than James Buchanan. I've been reading up on old Jimmy. Don't say all right? Don't so, say James Buchanan. Yeah, Buchanan got worse as he went on. But, but the first year, Biden's got it. He's got it. Herbert Hoover was terrible. But it took Herbert... 
maybe two years to be terrible. He was bad now, in the beginning. You know, uh, Bill, we were just talking about this off the air, the strategic oil reserve. Oh. Uh, he's releasing 32% of that. As we are sitting, looking and considering maybe, possibly, of a global war, and this, I mean, I could not put our country in a worse position than he has in the last year. I think I could get a team of experts that said, let's dismantle this thing piece by piece. And I couldn't have done a better job. He is. And, you know, I get letters and I'm sure you do, too. He's doing it on purpose. He wants to ruin the country. This is all big plan. You know, the conspiracy people. That's not mm. true. He's just stupid. No, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> okay. think so. No, I honestly don't think so. He's diminished. He is. When you, he, he's diminished. Yes. And he's not smart enough to understand why things are going but south. But I do believe that he understands uh, at some level uh, that you know he's going to be the new FDR, and the people around oh, him, on, they look at the polls. No, I mean I, he's Jill he's changing telling, the world. FDR, honey, we're, no, no, honey, we're not really doing very well. Okay, so th- he wants to use these poor, not poor. He wants to use the trans people and the other people to mask. All right, his inefficiency in running the country. This is virtue signaling. That's what it's all about. Now. I have just one comment to those people who are celebrating all of this stuff. If you get a passport with an X on it or whatever they're going to give you, good luck getting into Pakistan, okay? (laughs) Well, I haven't. Show up in Karachi after paying a lot of money for your airline ticket. You're going to present your passport, and they're going to look at you going, would you go in that room over there, please? Uh, By the way, good luck going to Ukraine. Nobody is reporting on this. Do you know the Ukrainians uh, are turning trans women back around and going, you're a dude. You need to go back and fight. What is the Ukrainian word for dude? Do you know the translation? (laughs) Yes, dude. (laughs) Got it. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if there's a flood of people trying to fly to Ukraine at the moment, but... (laughs) No, but I mean, what I'm saying is, you know, we're looking at, we're looking at countries and saying, oh, they're so enlightened, they're so great, look at the Ukrainians, yada, yada, yada. Why won't the press report that they are turning trans people around? Because they don't buy into it. They don't buy into it. There's a lot of countries that are not going to buy into it, and you're right, if you're going any place, you know, deeply religious, especially in the Middle East, and they're, uh-uh. Yeah, look, Ukraine and Eastern Europe are deeply orthodox, all right? They're deeply involved in all of the social stuff. We in America are now a secular country, yes, just like France. So we don't have that anymore. But what we do have is this colossal... I was in Chicago last night giving a speech, and I just laid it out to the folks. I said, you don't know how bad this Biden administration is. Even though he's down in the 30s on job approval, this is a catastrophe. And and the things that they are doing across the board, the border is just unbelievable. The border the is the things bo- that they are doing. We're going to have are, two million people cross that border this year. We've already a million in, and they're about to loosen up the restrictions even more. Bill, yeah. this is this yeah, is a you, death this knell. This is just breaking that if you are an undocumented migrant and you are trans, you get in faster. Okay, so you, they're going <laughs> to. They're going to do that. Okay, so look, we all know what this is, and the only remedy is the midterms, which are absolutely going to go against. Mm. It's almost like Trump. Trump lost the election because people voted against him, not for Joe Biden. All right? The same thing is going to happen in November. People are going to vote against Biden, and that is the Democratic Party. 